Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Phase DC, and I'm doing a uh, gold making guide today on what you should stockpile the leaves in. Mainly due to the fact that they will go up in price, most likely. So, it's usually mounts and pets, that's usually what I do. Uh, the, there's two mounts I do. And the first mount is the Corpus Grounding. Alright. So these are from your gas and Nissan. It's kind of lucky if you get one. But I have a good feeling that they, the, um, the quest for them is being removed in Legion. And even if the quest isn't being removed in Legion, I don't really see too many people wanting to spend their time at the chaos and with the new patch the expansion and everything so I think these will definitely go up in price um, I usually buy these for around 800 or less and just toss them all into the bank that's just like my dead face and in Legion I plan on selling them for about 10,000 a piece. That is my goal. Now, the other one I do are gone night owls. Right now, I buy these for only 1,200 a piece. I, I'm selling them right now for like 2,300. But they will be going up in price in Legion. So it's a good idea to at least keep a couple. I think they're going up in price. Pe I've heard lots of people say, and I've checked it out myself, that the drop chance possibly might be 1%. So even if you are 110, it more than likely will not drop. And you'll waste your time. Spawns twice an hour, and still couldn't. And still has a chance it couldn't drop either time. It's a risk. Now, those are the two pet, uh, those are the two mounts I do. Another good mount would be like, um, trading card game mounts. Those would go up in price. Since the gold cap is increasing to 10 million instead of 1 million. And any holiday mounts like Spring Rider, or Love Board, Minimum Grumpus, stuff like that, will also go up in price from what I've been told. Now, there are three pets you want to stockpile. And more than likely, you've seen people advertise these, like maybe one gold a piece, giving them away for free. But the pets you want to stockpile are left socks. That's, as of the moment, compared to my add-on, they sell for 10 gold on the Oxnose. I personally would buy every single one I can get that is below 50 gold and just put them all in the bank and just keep them to Legion because I think that these would definitely go up in price because they also come from the garrison but that is from the shipyard now these I bought the island I can't pronounce it I don't have too many of them, but recent, recently I started collecting them. I kind of forgot about them, but I did have a couple. I buy these for about 150 or less. I toss them in because I think these will also go up in price. See, there's a good up a good chance, I guess, that this pet might be about. 2,000, 3,000 gold in Legion, possibly, I can guess, but it's a good idea to stockpile these because everyone else, like every YouTuber for a while who's into gold making is more, more than likely doing this, like, uh, Kuma, uh, the ninja, uh, I think it's like the ninja Kuma or something like that, he is a guy just like this, kind of. But he does other mounts, like the Jeweled Panther, which I don't really mess around with. Now the last pet, 
would be the send-off part, which is some um, yeah, gas as well. So, same thing with the core fist. No one's gonna really be farming it. These three, in particular, uh, the, these ones you I think you'll still be able to get. I don't know, but you get these at the beginning of the wad starting line in the uh, last advance. But good idea to stockpile those three. Now, another good thing to stockpile, which is probably going to be the best one, is gold because the gold in the system is going to decrease in region, which is going to cause inflation. Because with gold decreasing, that means gold is going to have higher value in the agent. So then the good idea is to stockpile as much gold as you can. Keep it on an art, on a big tomb, in your bank, anything. Like, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I kind of have a lot to sell still. But, it's a good idea to at least get a million at least before legion um to the guys about the gold guides you want to look for hot items that everyone wants to buy daily champions of honor um it looks of the up in mind medallion of the legion those are hot items you want to find a place that's good enough for you that you want to buy them for but once you buy them you want to sell them what you think is a fair place like champions champions of honor i buy for eight thousand five i sell for ten thousand to eleven thousand dollar in the legion i pay two thousand i think and i sell for three thousand five hundred yes need to try trading card game pets paid i usually pay twenty five to forty five thousand now and i sell them for fifty to seventy to eighty thousand um, Hano, you could get gold of Hano buying these daggers from the PvP vendor. It is 102 Hano per dagger. One dagger sells so 16 gold. So roughly, I'm taking a guess. I have 31, no, 41 in my bags, and yeah, 41. Yeah, really, 41. 41 is probably around six, seven hundred gold. That's just with Hano points. Um, what else could I say? Well, game time, game tokens, you want to stockpile those as, well, as cheap as you can really get them because I think they're going to go up in price just like the EU servers, which sell like 100 to 200,000 gold apiece. But we'll see, but it's always a good idea to stockpile those. Another good way to make gold is. Uh, Catalyzm aids. It's, I'll give you guys an example really quick. Um, I don't have too much time left. 25 player to work only if you want to make the most. Two to two, uh, three to five thousand gold if you do Black Wing Descent, the boss of Night Twilight, Firelands, and Dragon Soul. The most popular one is Firelands because most people make about four thousand to five thousand. Dragon Soul about 3,000-4,000 Good idea to do those every day um, The more tunes you have at level 100, the more gold you make Easy Free gold menu You could try dueling for gold I usually bet 5,000 And now I, I usually have people Yeah, I bet 5,000 No, I bet 10,000 And if I beat the other guy, the other guy gives me 5,000 so, because I know I can win most of the time well, and gambling it's, yeah, something some people do but if any of this helped you out give me a like and subscribe I'll catch you next time peace out